guys, it's Tamara here. I'm going to do a review for you guys today, and it is of the book Up From the Grave, which is the seventh book in the Night Huntress series by Janine Frost. And as you know, this is also the last book. Mm, I feel so bad that it's the last book. Like, seriously, guys, this book was so bittersweet. I mean, I was so excited to tear into it, which I did last month, but it took me forever to review it. I think I just didn't want to let go of it. But now, you know, I'm ready to pack it away and, you know, I might pick it up again sometime in the future. I'm probably sure I will reread this series sometime in the future. Um, but with that said, let's get on with it. So, this book, as we know, quick intro to the plot. Um, Cat and Bones have had, you know, a couple month of, months of, you know, quiet. They've had their happy time. And then suddenly, Cat finds out that their friends are missing. And by their friends, I mean four of the guys on the team that she was in charge of. Also, as we know, Bones turned a few of them. So those are his people. So now they're both, like, in a race to figure out what happened to them before they die. Um... They, have, they suspect who knows who they, where they are, which is, you know, the guy who took over um, the government section of uh, the paranormal things that Don used to do. But, you know, he's not giving up any answers. We know he's the bad guy. He's been the bad guy for the last couple books. But, um, so this whole book, most of, mostly this whole book is them trying to figure out what happened to their friends, why this is happening, what's going on behind the scenes, who's running things, that whole nine. Um, and in the midst of that, um, of course, we see our usual characters. We see Min Carries, we see Ian, um, Spade and Denise, uh, the voodoo queen, uh, the zombie queen, um, Don, uh, Vlad. Um, but let me make a few notes on that right quick. Number one, Vlad. I'm very disappointed that he only got a very little bit of Vlad. Now, especially because Kat and Vlad have become such good friends over this series, it was a little disappointing to see he was really only in two scenes. And he wasn't even in the final scene, which was a little bit crazy considering what was going on, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, I wanted more Vlad. Number two, Ian. You know, I really didn't care about Ian's character. I kind of thought of him as, like, just an extra that just came with the rest of the characters. But now I really am interested in Ian. And, you know, Miss Frost, if you're listening, I wouldn't be opposed to a spinoff for Ian. You know, even if it's three books like Vlad gets, I wouldn't mind reading about Ian because he's kind of interesting to me now. Um, yeah, he's not that bad of a guy, but I'm curious to see what got him where he is. So who knows? Maybe if you have time, I don't know, squeeze in a couple books for Ian. Anyway, um, also, um, so really that those were the only couple things I didn't like about the character. The plot was really fast-paced, per usual. Um, Cat and Bones banter, spot on, per usual. Um, you know, the, the heat with their situation you know they're pretty too spicy couple it's there it's pretty um high on the hot scale if you know what i mean um what else what else is important for you to know um you know honestly there are a couple things that are slightly predictable but there is something huge in this book and i'm huge so huge you will be shocked i was shocked i'm like oh my god what is going on so obviously i'm not going to give that away but the fact that there's something so huge that no one would have guessed really makes the minute things that are a little bit predictable unimportant like seriously um the book the book is really good it's really near perfect and miss frost wrote these this final book for the fans she dedicated it to the fans and you can tell she wrote this for the fans so if you are a fan of the series read the book um now you guys know i listen to this on audio or i think you know that because i listen to the other six on audio and i recommend this one as well tavia gilbert is very good she knows these characters in and out. You know she's been working with them for a long time, and I'm comfortable listening to her. She's easy to listen to. Um, so with the good story and then her ability as a narrator, this is really a good option for audio. Listen to it on my way home um, in the car or while I'm at my work when, the, you know, it's a little slow or whatever. 
it's really good. Um, I recommend it. If you're new to audio or haven't tried it out, try this series on audio. Give it a, give it a try. I think you'd like it. Um, so, yes, my rating. Okay, I would give this five bookmarks, obviously. Um, and again, you know, I promise you guys, I mean, this book really is near perfect. And if you've been reading them or listening to them this far, you might as well finish the seventh one. You know you want to. There's no reason not to. You'll be glad you did because the end, it's like so oh, sad. It's like happy and sad and... Oh, yeah, bittersweet, like I said. Anyway, I really recommend this series. I recommend this book. Um, dare I say, this book might have been the best one, period. It might have been the best one of the series altogether. Um, and there's not enough I can say about it. So, yeah, um, I'm happy I read it. I'm happy I was able to visit with Cat and Bones during these seven books. And hopefully Cat and Bones will appear somewhere else. Um, maybe in Vlad's book, or maybe... In Ian's book, if there is an Ian's book, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. Anyway, guys, so you guys know I love the book. What did you think? Did you love this book? Um, did you read it yet or listen to it yet? If you did, let's talk about it. Um, I'm anxious to talk about it with someone who's finished the book. So please leave your comments and we can chat below. And if you don't want to see spoilers and you haven't read, well, just don't read the comments. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Anyway, guys, till next time. If you want to find me before my next video, find me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook. I'm on all of those and I love to chat. So, till then, talk to you guys later.